Hey happy bees, it's Amanda and this week we're going to make an LOL surprise doll cake topper together. You can find links in the description below for everything that you need to make this cake topper at home. So let's get started. So my daughter is crazy about LOL dolls so I'm going to use one of her dolls as a guide. I'm going to take all the dolls clothes off so I can get an idea of her body shape. And we're going to start out by making the LOL dolls legs. So I'm using edible modelling paste to create this cake topper, although you can always use fondant, clay, or for my younger viewers, you can always have a go at this with Play-Doh. So you're going to roll out your modelling paste into a snake shape, and you're going to use your finger to create an indentation where her knee's going to go. Now you can see at the top of her legs, they're shaped in kind of like a V shape, so use your knife to trim the top part of her leg in that shape and I'm also using the bottom of a paintbrush to create those two little dots where her knees are going to be. Take your barbecue skewer and cut it in half and then insert that into your legs. Now we're going to take two small balls of our pink and our green, going to shape those into an oval shape and then place those onto the bottom of where her legs are on the skewer. Use a knife to create a sole. To create the rest of her boot now, roll out a piece of your fondant as thin as you possibly can, nice and thin. Trim it into a rectangle shape. And you're just going to place that over the top part of the leg. You're going to take a knife and create two lines down the front and then join those lines together in X shapes to make that kind of look like laces. And then I'm using the other end of a cocktail stick to create some holes along the sides. To create a tiny, tiny bow, roll out some of your modelling paste nice and thin. Use two strips for the bottom of your bow, bow? <laughs> the bottom of your bow, and then use two other strips shaped into an oval shape for the top. <laughs> create a body now for your LOL doll by using an oval piece of your modelling paste. You're going to pinch the top part and form it into a neck shape. And then you're just going to work with it until it starts to look like the shape of her body. As you can see, I'm going to cut that V shape into the bottom part of her torso. And hopefully now when we go to slide that on top of the legs, it should all fit together neatly. Once you have the body secure on top of the legs, you're going to insert another piece of a skewer into the neck piece and that's just going to support your head and now we're going to make the top part of her dress so we're using some pink modeling paste and some black modeling paste here you're going to roll out both pieces as thin as you possibly can and then you're going to cut a line down both sides of them Join those lines together and if you just want to use your finger just to make sure that they gel together. You're going to use a circle cutter to create a neckline. And then go in with your knife and create some straps. Place that across the front of your LOL doll's body and then use a cocktail stick again to create some details around the neckline. We're going to use this circle cutter again to create her skirt. So again roll out another piece of your pink modelling paste. This is going to be three layers and use your circle cutter to create a hole in the centre. I'm not sure if the camera's picking this up, but her skirt actually has some texture on it. So I'm going to use a sieve to try and create that texture onto your modelling paste. Then you're going to go around the outside of your modelling paste using some squiggly lines. Now 
Then you're going to cut a line across the back of it so that we're going to be able to place it onto your topper. And we're going to repeat this three times. Now the top layer of her skirt has got black stripes so we're just going to cut out some black strips of fondant and stick those on. I don't know if you've heard about LOL dolls, I don't know how you couldn't have heard about them because they're everywhere, my daughter collects them, she loves them. This wouldn't be her favourite character, I was asked to make this particular one so it wouldn't have been my choice of the one I would have made. So if you have a favourite LOL doll character you want to see me create, let me know in the comments below and you never know, I might make another one. Making her arms now, so you're going to roll out another snake piece of your modelling paste. You're going to pinch it down at the bottom and then you're going to use a knife to cut in a thumb and some fingers. And just trim that to size if it's a little bit too long. You're going to use your fingers to create a wrist and just to make the hand part stand out. And then again trim it to size have a look at your arm and just see where you would want the elbow to go and use your finger to create an indentation. If you've been watching my videos for a while now, you'll know my favourite part of creating any cake topper is always the face. So I've got a round ball of flesh coloured fondant and their heads are kind of a weird shape where they're rounder at the top and quite square at the bottom. So I've just pressed that against my work surface to make it a little bit more square. I'm using this double ended ball tool to create a mouth and some eyes and you'll be able to find everything that I'm using to create this LOL doll in the description below. So fill in those eye sockets that you've created with some white fondant. And we're going to use some of that mint green colour for her eyes. Now I used two colours of green to achieve this particular shade of green and one of them was the Wilton Kelly Green food gel colour. So I'm just going to use some of that and paint around the outside of the eye. It just helps bring the eyes to life a little bit. Once you've got that done, use a small black circle for a pupil. Use a small strip of black fondant on the top part of her eyes. And then go in with some edible black paint and create eyelashes. These LOL dolls, they're so much fun and they're so much fun to create. And if you want to see some more edible LOL doll creations, click on that link above and you'll see more tutorials just like this one. We're going to give our LOL doll some lips now by using some of that pink modeling paste that we have. Use a smaller piece for the bottom lip and a larger piece for the top. And then use the tiniest piece of modelling paste to give her a button nose. Now you can't just leave the nose like that but I've gone in with my dotting tool just to give it a little bit of shape underneath. Use some edible dust to give her some bright pink rosy cheeks. Oh, 
and now for the hardest part, the hair. Of all the LOL dolls, I was asked to create one that had pyramid hair, please. Anyhow, I think the hair turned out okay. It's not, I'm not 100% happy with it, but it'll do. I just basically got my two pieces of fondant, pressed down on one side, used my rolling pin, and then I'm going in here to create the lines with another cake decorating tool. So it's not perfect. It's not really how, how I would have liked it. Ideally, I would have liked to have done one with normal hair. So that's why I'm kind of hoping that I can redeem myself maybe and make another one that has normal hair. But the little girl who I created this cake topper for loved it and that's the main thing. I'm just going to insert a cocktail stick down the centre of the head. It is a really top heavy cake topper and we're going to add a bow on top of the hair as well. So it's just to give it added support and you can always take it out if needs be once the topper is fully dry. So to create a bow for the LOL cake topper we're going to use two pieces of white fondant and we're just going to shape it into kind of like a sideways triangle. going to secure those on top of her head with a little bit of water and then you're going to take a tiny ball of your white fondant and place it in the center of her bow. If you're still here watching by this point, wow, <laughs> because this was a long one. Thanks so much for watching guys and if you're new here and you want to become part of an amazing cake community, click on that happy bee cakes bubble and subscribe. Until next week, I'm Amanda and this is Happy Bee Cakes. And remember, keep creating. You'll be surprised at what you can do. Bye, guys.